everyone, welcome back or welcome to Hook and Sword. My name is Megan. So today I'm going to be showing you how to change colors in a row to make an image. So I made a swatch for you. It's just a little heart in a square. This is a single crochet and this is kind of a classic for me. I like making images in scarves. So it's like at the edge of the scarf. I do have a few images right here of things that I've made in the past. It's a lot of fun and you could, the options are endless when you learn how to make images in a simple stitch. So you can do this with half double crochet, double crochet, single crochet. I've never done it with trebles, but it, you could if as long as you know how to change colors in a row. Before we get started on this tutorial, if you would like to support this channel, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let's jump into it. So just like corner to corner, when making an image, you always want to have a plan of what colors you need to switch in a row. There's actually Etsy patterns that you can purchase of just an Excel sheet and it shows what each row should be, the colors, and it will make whatever image you want or you could make your own excel sheet and shade in the colors just like you would do for corner to corner or you can use stitch fiddle where you upload your image and it will spit out the excel if you pay for that i do the free version where it spits out a pdf and then i would shade it into an excel sheet myself that's what i do that is free <laughs> so for this one it is a fairly simple pattern so I didn't really need to use stitch fiddle I just kind of got an excel sheet and just shaded the colors of what I need so telling you the materials I made this you can honestly use any worsted weight yarn which is a number four in the yarn spectrum or medium this is Vanish Choice. This is the color linen. I'm not even sure if Vanish Choice has this color anymore this is maybe like four or five years old, honestly. So, and then the pink, this is Red Heart with Love. I use terracotta. Next, you're gonna be needing the yarn needles and scissors for sure. So when you're making an image, you will have a lot of ends to weave in. So this will be very important to have. Next, I used a J. This is a six milliliter hook. So I'm going to turn the camera down and I'm going to show you how to make this. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with the gray yarn and we're going to be doing a slip knot and chaining 10. I do have a tutorial on how to make a slip knot in a chain and I will link it below. All right, so for row one through two, as you can see in the upper right hand corner, you're going to be doing a single crochet all the way down. I also have a tutorial on single crochet and I will also link that. Go through all the way down. So we're going to just continue to follow the diagram. So you're going to be doing four single crochets and then you're going to be changing the color to the pink. So there's the four single crochet and here is the pink. Now I'm noticing that I do changing colors a little bit differently than other YouTubers. So I just finish out the single crochet and then I pull through the next color like that on that loop and then tighten the original color and make sure that the original color goes through with the pink. So it's going to stay on those V's. All right, so insert. As you can see, the color has changed. And we still have that original color in the single crochet. We're going to change back to the original color. It almost kind of looks like a chain one when you're going through it. And I'm not going to carry over the pink because 
the heart is in the center of the gray color but I am going to bring the gray throughout the entire project. Now I'm just finishing it out. It's going to be four single crochets all the way down. I always find it very helpful to have that diagram on you at all times. <laughs> okay, so we're now we're on the next row. We're going to chain one and turn our work. So the diagram says we're going to do three single crochets in the gray and three. Now we're going to be changing the color to pink. So the pink is a little bit to the left of where I need it to be. So I'm going to be making this a loose pull through and you can see that there is a long string in the middle of the single crochet that I'm about to go in. You see it right there, but I'm going to continue single crocheting in the V's while keeping that yarn and I'm going to crochet right underneath it so it just stays together like so. There you go. Now I'm going to finish out the pink. So two more single crochets. Next will be right directly on the pink. Insert your hook. All right. That's what it should look like. And I'm changing the color back to gray, and I'm not pulling through that pink. I'm going to finish this out with the gray. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So by keeping the primary or the base color throughout the project, it's going to keep your stitches closer together. All right, so now we're on the next row and we did two single crochets and I am changing the color back to pink and I'm doing the drag again. So you see there's that extra yarn in between my stitches. So I'm just gonna crochet underneath it and just keep it tight. Okay, so five single crochets in the pink. All right, now I'm switching back over to the gray. I'm gonna be doing two single crochets to finish this out. All right, that's what it should look like. All right, so next I'm gonna chain one and turn my work. single crochet in the first stitch with the gray and then now I'm going to change the color again because that's what my diagram says. And I'm going to do the single crochet just like I've been doing. <coughs> This can be the widest part of the heart. So it's going to be seven. Change back the color to gray and not keep the pink with me and single crochet at the end. And that's what it should look like. All right, so next row is going to be the same as the one before. Now that we brought the pink over, it will be easier now. So we're going to insert your hook, do the gray first, and now 
the yarn is in the proper spot. So you're just gonna bring it up just like that and then change the color. I try to keep that extra yarn underneath my single crochet. You see that right there? I'm gonna go to the right where my finger is. I'm gonna go in. Now, as you can see, it kind of sticks on your hook. You just gotta pull through on that one, like so. And now I'm gonna still keep that gray through the heart and just single crochet over it. All right, now I need to change back to the gray. Finish out this row. And that's what it should look like. All right, so the next row. Now it's gonna be two grays and the pink is already ready to go. So I'm actually just gonna pull the pink with me now so I don't have to cut my yarn and make a whole new skein. It's a lot to deal with. <laughs> so I just pulled the yarn, the pink yarn with me just like I did with the gray and it's just gonna be for one stitch and then now I'm gonna switch back to the pink. Okay. Now single crochet. Okay, so now the middle is a gray again. So I am gonna change colors, but I'm gonna keep the pink with me because I'm gonna need it in the next two stitches. So insert, oh, just like that. Pull through, okay. If I could save myself to weave in too many strands, I would. So that's why I always pull through with my colors. One and two. Finish the heart. Now I need to finish out the row. should look like. Okay, now we're on the last row and I'm just kind of looking at the heart right now, seeing if there's any colors that are, doesn't look right and doesn't make it look like a heart. And I'm gonna leave a long string so I can make it more pronounced. And we'll, sh I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So I'm gonna finish out this row and just do a gray single crochet all the way down. Okay, so now it looks like this. Now I'm just inspecting it a little bit. So I'm gonna fasten off. I left a, a nice long string. And now I'm just weaving through the yarn. And as you can see, there is a little bit of a, a gray hole there that I don't really want. So I'm going to get the pink and use the ends to cover up that little hole there like that and then once when you are satisfied with the image you can cut out the ends it's ready to go so that's it that is how you change colors in a row i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions or any request of a project you'd like to see, leave a comment down below. And if you like this kind of content, please give this video a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.